Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon How To Guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide we're going to be looking at how to breed the perfect Pokemon. If you're familiar with breeding in previous Pokemon generations, then you will understand some of the mechanics in this guide, but if you are not, don't worry, we'll be going through everything that you need to do to achieve getting that perfect Pokemon battle ready by the end of this guide. So the first thing we want to do is start collecting a few items that are going to help us along the way. The first place we want to visit is Hammerlock. So if you just fly down here onto the map, go to the main Pokemon Center. Once you go inside there, you can go to the right and speak to this NPC character here. They will offer to sell you certain battle items and the one that we're looking for right now is the Destiny Knot. Now the Destiny Knot is an item when given to a parent Pokemon once it's put into the daycare center it will pass down five IVs from the parenting Pokemon to the new baby so that is a really important item to have the next item we want to have is the Everstone you can find this in Tuffield so we want to fly over to Tuffield which is right over here on the map now the Everstone is an item where you give it to a parent Pokemon and that specific nature on that parent Pokemon if it's holding the Everstone will pass that nature down to the new baby or the new egg Pokemon Pokemon that you're breeding and once you have that nature from one of the parenting Pokemon that will always be the same for the baby if it's holding the Everstone. The next thing we want to do is start obtaining our Pokemon that we're going to be breeding with. The first step I would take is to get a really strong Ditto. Now what you want to do is go to this area on the map that I'm highlighting now. You want to head here. It is the Stony Wilderness in the wild area. You want to head to the daycare center and speak to this NPC. Now grab yourself a wishing piece and then head up to this den which is hidden around the corner to the right of the daycare center it's den 66 you want to get in front of this den save your game and then once you're saved drop a wishing piece down and then be very quick here about identifying the light that comes out of the den now if it is just a faded pink color you want to hit the home button straight away come out of the game close it down and then come back into the game and repeat that process until you see a solid purple light coming out of the den and that will guarantee you either a four or a five star ditto from this specific den so it's a really good way to do it another way to get around the soft resetting is turn your text to slow that helps out massively in this process now you can see that we do actually have a purple solid purple beam coming out of the den we do have a five star ditto so this is perfect it guarantees at least four perfect IVs which is a great way for us to start the breeding process we've already got a Pokemon in mind that we're going to breed with this ditto and that is our Draclock that we caught in our previous how to catch droopy guide so we'll be using that because it does have two perfect IVs now you can see this ditto here has four perfect IVs which is great this is the Draclock that we're going to be using as I say it does have a few perfect IVs and the speed special attack and defense are ideal now what we want to do is look for a ditto that matches up with these IVs now the these are a couple of dittos I found earlier. Now this one here matches up perfectly. It's got the HP, the attack, the defense, and the special defense, which matches up perfectly with our Draclock. So getting five IVs passed down makes your chances of getting that perfect baby a lot better. Now we won't get it straight away, but it does make the chances better and it cuts down some of the stepping stones. The next thing we want to do is get a Pokemon with Flame Body, because if you've got a Pokemon with that ability in your party, it cuts down the number of steps needed for every egg to hatch. This is a really important feature to have to optimize your egg hatching abilities and just speeding up the whole process now you can head to route 3 go to the mine and in here you can catch a car call which can have the ability flame body now you can see it took me like two minutes to catch this pokemon so a really easy pokemon to catch and as you can see on the screen now it does have that flame body ability which is brilliant so we've got our flame body pokemon we've got two pokemon that we're ready to breed with the ditto and the draclock and now what we need to do is head and get one more item which will really help us and optimize our egg hatching capabilities. Now, we want to head to Chichester, which is on the map here. You want to go around the corner from the Pokemon Center, head to the hotel on the left, go up to the first floor and enter this first room here and talk to this policeman who is Morimoto in disguise now he will ask you for a Pokemon battle you will have to battle him once you beat him though he will give you the oval stone and the oval stone increases the chances of eggs being made in the Pokemon daycare center once you have Pokemon in there so chances of your eggs spawning 
is a lot higher with this item so really important item to have now you can see we're going to put our pokemon that we've got lined up into our party and then we're going to give them the items that we need so the the big important one here is the destiny knot we'll give that to the ditto unfortunately we don't have a pokemon right now with the nature that we really are looking for that is going to be a timid or a jolly nature eventually so we'll have to grind a little bit for that you want to head to Tuffield again and then head out onto Route 5 and then you will come across the Pokemon Nursery here. Speak to this lady outside of the nursery and she's the NPC that you are going to be giving your Pokemon to. Now as you can see we're going to put our Ditto and our Draclock into the nursery and they are going to be ready here to start producing some eggs. Now once the Pokemon are in the nursery with this lady you want to hop onto your bike and start doing some miles. You want to head down here and go back and forward and once you notice the daycare lady here putting one arm across her body and one up to her face that means she has an egg so go talk to her and she will give you your first pokemon egg and you want to just repeat this process back and forth down here and whilst doing this also you're racking up the steps that you need to hatch these eggs so here we go here's our first droopy that we are looking for now really what we want to be doing here is looking for a timid or jolly nature droopy that would be ideal and then what we want to be doing is optimizing our iv spread now with the IV judge that we have access to in our Pokemon box, this makes it so much easier to check Pokemon's IVs. You can go into the box, you can check their IVs, you can see our first Droopy here has a really decent spread, it's got the HP, the special attack and speed that we want, but we want a little bit more optimized before we replace these Pokemon in the daycare center. And obviously we're keeping an eye out the whole time for that timid or that jolly nature so we can replace a Pokemon in the daycare center with this Pokemon holding the Everstone to pass down that nature to every single egg that we get from there now you can see that we have got a, another droopy here it's got four perfect ivs but we still want to keep going we want to keep getting these eggs and hatching them now i go through about two to three boxes in total of droopy eggs before i do eventually get that that perfect pokemon but the process in doing this is we want to just be taking step by step by step in getting a little bit closer to those perfect IVs every time we hatch a Pokemon. So every time we hatch a new Pokemon with a better spread of IVs, a better combination of five IVs or even six IVs, then we want to be replacing it with the Pokemon that we've already got in the daycare center. As you can see on your screen right now, we've just hatched another Droopy. We want to take a look at this one again. It's good to just check each and every Pokemon that you hatch in case it is that perfect one that you get. You might get lucky and get it very early on, but sometimes it doesn't count. It doesn't really happen for a long time. Now you can see the spread that we've got here. We've got decent at the top for the HP, but the rest of the stats are best. So the best are the rest are all 31s, and it has that timid nature. So perfect. We've got the opportunity now to put this Droopy into the daycare center and start hatching for timid droopies so this is ideal we want to give it the everstone and then we want to replace it in the pokemon center and also because we've bred so many other pokemon in this time frame leading up to this pokemon what we can do is have a look through the other pokemon that we've already bred and see if there's better spreads than what we've already got in the daycare center and then pair them up put them in together and that should really increase our chances to get that perfect IV Pokemon. So we will now take out the Pokemon that we've already got in the daycare center. We'll take out Dreepy and we'll take out Ditto and we'll make sure that we are attached the appropriate items to the new Pokemon going into the daycare with the Everstone and the Destiny Knot. The Everstone, remember, has to be on the Pokemon with the nature that you want passed down to your baby Pokemon. So it needs to be on that timid Dreepy for us right here, which it is. And then we'll pop it back into the daycare center. And once these Pokemon are in there, this shouldn't be a long process. Now, both Pokemon that we're putting in have five best IVs, so 531 IVs each. And both IVs are kind of crossing over. So one has a not great IV in HP, but one has not great IV in speed. So if they cross over and we get a good combination for a baby, we should get a really strong, timid natured Dreepy with 31 IVs across the board. With our new Dreepies in the daycare center, all we need to do is hop on our bike again, wait for the daycare lady to get ready with some eggs. We'll collect the eggs 
as you can see it's doing now back and forward back and forward ticking down the steps needed to hatch these eggs and and we'll be hatching some hopefully perfect pokemon very soon so we're going to come across one of the dreepy that we've got now since putting these perfect pokemon into the daycare center here it is little dreepy can we see if it is a perfect pokemon has it got that perfect spread for us so we'll go as always into our pokemon box and then we can check the iv judge go over there and there we go we've got best hp best defense best special attack best special defense and best speed because it's a tim in nature because it is running off predominantly special attacks we don't need to worry about that attack stat right now on this specific pokemon so this it really is a perfect iv dreepy for the timid nature which is ideal for us to get that perfect dragapult very strong pokemon and utilized late in game now i do change the pokemon up in the daycare center and i try for a jolly dreepy as well because we did in the process of breeding initially get a decent enough jolly dreepy with a good iv spread so we put that into the daycare center with our perfect timid dreepy that we've just hatched and trying to get a perfect jolly and you can see the outcome here now this one didn't take too long because we had two five iv pokemon going into the daycare center pretty much and this one only took about 15 minutes to get which was great about 10 eggs so this is our breeding guide you can adapt this strategy to any single pokemon in the game and like i say you don't even need to be starting off with a pokemon with high ivs all you need is that ditto and i've shown you earlier in the guide how you can guarantee yourself to catch one of these dittos in these raid dens it's very important to get a ditto get a lot of dittos with different spreads and different natures if you can because the more you have the easier this breeding process will get this wraps up the guide for you my friends i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you found it useful please if you have remember to drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and I will see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye